right, we're heading down to Scott and Steve's office. We're gonna find out what we can about update 12. Hey guys, how's it going? Good. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> good, good. Uh, we're trying to get a sneak peek on update 12. Well, <laughs> considering that it ships tomorrow, that should be pretty easy yes. to get. <laughs> you know? I'm looking forward to the new Warframe. Yeah, I, I think she turned out really well. What is it? I thought it was Zephyr. Zephyr. That's yeah. It. yeah. So her first power is basically mobility. If you're, it's got like a two-stage thing. If you're uh, on the ground and you activate it, you uh, get basically like super jump with some radial damage on the point that you lift off. So, and then if you're in the air and you activate it, you basically get an air dash that does damage. She's lighter. So uh, she has more air control and gravity affects her less. So when you're up in the air, you're, it feels floatier. Uh, all things basically that affect gravity don't affect her as much. So her mobility is pretty badass. Yeah, her number two is what I call dive bomb. Her number two. <laughs> her number two <laughs> is dive bomb, which is appropriate. Her number two. Yeah. Yep, go yeah. on. Yeah, so it's a dive bomb, which is uh, only activated in the air, yep. and you basically nose dive to ground doing a massive radial damage based on the height that you uh, dive bomb from. So it uh, synergizes really well with her first power. So you can jump and then dash in the air to get more height, and then do a dive bomb and you basically annihilate more enemies. The third power, I think, is the uh, turbul turbulence, uh, a shield, a of, shield wind of wind around you, deflecting doesn't, all. It doesn't give you damage, damage. immunity, yeah. um, but it reflects and redirects all incoming projectiles and bullets. I think my most favorite power with her is her her ultimate. Um, basically, she creates uh, tornadoes uh, that attack enemies and suck them up. Like the ragdolls will fly through the, through the air and they stay in the tornado. It's pretty awesome, and uh, you can basically. Uh, change the damage type of the tornadoes by shooting them with elemental effects. I think the other big thing to mention in this is the uh, Warframe is going into clan tech. There's uh, some new rooms coming. Uh, I think there's a whole boatload of new props and stuff to decorate your dojo with yes. that's going on as well. Just dust off your dojo and make sure that it's ready to go. I'm excited about the new HUD going out. Yep. Which is like, we've been sort of working on that internally for a while and uh, realizing how much our HUD actually does when, in all the different game types and stuff. So it took quite a while to get it going, but it's finally going out. It's going out with uh, the new 3D portrait as well, which I'm really excited about, which I think is a great kind of bump in the production quality of the game rather than getting like that sort of static image of people talking to you and coming yeah. in. and. It, um, but there's a training section now in the codex which explains, you know, the basic moves and all that sort of stuff. There's sections going in that should help new players a lot. There's a couple other new player features that we're putting in as well, like um, uh, auto-equipping the mods and that sort of thing. So I think auto people... Auto-fusion of mods. Auto-fusion of mods. So the UI finally stacks duplicate mods. And if you have a mod that's unranked... Yeah. Right. Yeah, if you haven't done any fusion on it, you get duplicates. When you you'll see like a count, and when you you know hover over it or select it, it, it fans out and shows you that you have multiples, which really cleans up the uh, the UI quite a bit. When the new damage system went in, it, it mattered what order your your polarity um, was for your slots. So now, if you put form on your weapon and you have your little star, you can go in and just swap the orders of the polarities. So. That's great for people to reorganize and, and optimize the sort of damage combinations that they're doing with their mods. The expansion of Earth. The Earth. The Grenier domination. The Grenier domination of Earth. Domination yeah. Of Earth. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. the forest uh, yep. jungle art set is being fully deployed on Earth, um, yep. along with a new uh, game type. If you're familiar with a lot of domination style point control uh, yep. game modes, this is uh, along those lines. Uh, so this is our first first stab at that. I'll be going out with the update, which I think uh, is only available on Earth. So uh, basically, go play Earth. Darvo, he Darvo and his his drama. He he might need some help. Darvo, he gets himself into trouble a lot. Yeah, yeah, and with nasty people. Yeah. This is the first update of uh, of 2014. What did you call it? Oh, the some rusty rusty bladed cold fusion power. Joy laser and get your head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited about that. Yep. Awesome. I'm really excited about that.